What's up guys, thank you for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be walking you through this Gladiator that we just wrapped up, so let's hop right into it. So starting off here on the front, the customer wanted some better light output, so he chose to go with some LP6s. Um, he lives in the desert, so he wanted to have as much light output as he could have, and the LP6 seems like the perfect choice to throw on the front of his Jeep. We also included the Baja Designs fog light replacement as well. These are the SAE approved lights, the new Gen 2. Super good light, also street legal, and provides just enough light output um, so you could see his day to day as he's driving through the desert. To power those LP6s, the customer also chose to go with the Switch Pro 9100 system. Uh, this comes with eight separate switches, so he's powering his LP6s and also has the intent of adding additional lights in the future. Also on the front end, we also have the AEV 5100 kit. Um, we also paired that with the high capacity spring to withstand the additional weight being added on by the Canopy Camper that we'll be hopping into shortly. Jumping into the camper, this is the Canopy Camper from Alucab. This is the five foot variation since it is a Gladiator. The customer chose to go with a fair amount of accessories such as the awning, the Expedition Essentials propane tank. Um, the customer will be adding on the fireplace in the future, so the, the propane mount was the perfect starting place. Also got the water tank with the canvas bag kit as well, um, and then a full goose gear build out. So utility modules, double drawer, as well as an angle 35 fridge in the middle um, in place of his bulkhead so he can have some fridge storage as well. Coming back to the rear door, customer chose to go with the GP Factor drop table with the slide out cutting board. Pairs perfectly with the GP Factor rear door mollies as well. Got a couple of those to store some first aid kits, utensils, spices, anything that you really plan on mounting to that rear door. On the back side of the rear door, customer is running the spare wheel bracket. He's currently running a 33 inch tire, so he's able to clear that passenger side molly on the rear of the camper. Here on the side door, we got the GP Factor side door molly, similar to what's on the rear door. Just provides you even more mounting points for any type of accessories you plan on mounting. Up above the rear door, we have a camera relocation kit from 813 Fabrications. Super cool kit, allows you to relocate the factory camera. Um, unlike adding in your separate camera system, you can maintain that factory camera from the Jeep, still use your backup camera like you would on a factory vehicle. Customer also chose to go with our best electrical package. This package includes a 100 amp hour battery from Battleborn, uh, as well as a switch panel on our custom electrical board with a Victron battery monitor, a breaker. You also get a Red Arc BCDC 1250. Customers run in 205 watt solar panels up top from Sunflare, and he's got plenty of charge for any devices he plans on running, as well as powering a fridge 24 seven in the back of his camper. So to wrap up this build, the customer chose to go pretty in depth, but still allow for plenty of room to build this thing out. He does have the intent of coming back for some power brake, stage one big brake kit, as well as a fireplace for the canopy camper. So if you guys wanna follow along this build, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll post consistently on the progress of this build. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call or visit our shop here in Westminster, California.